Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this, my friends. Welcome to day eight of 10 back to school tips for LGBTQ plus inclusion. Lisa Kay, your everyday gay. And today we are talking about bathrooms and locker rooms. So just so that you know, I love the term all gender restrooms, could be gender neutral restrooms. I have some statistics for you. 70% of transgender students said they avoided bathrooms because they felt unsafe or uncomfortable. That leads to other issues. That leads to health issues. That leads to um, lots of different mental health issues. So please, please, please think about that. Put this in your sub notes that this student can leave early and go to the restroom, okay? Because, oh jeepers, the next one, 60% of transgender students had been required to use a bathroom or locker room that did not match the gender they live every day. That's against the law. Yep, let's talk about that. Because with locker rooms, students do not have to provide medical documentation of gender transition to have access to such facilities and programs that they identify with. Again, I'll say that. They don't have to provide that. They can say that this is why you need to have policies that help and support, um, especially our gender nonconforming and transgender students. Here's a guide, Schools in Transitions, put together from the ACLU gender spectrum. Well, you can see all of those on there. It's kind of a big deal. So yesterday we talked about changing the game and information from GLSEN out there. So if you're a physical education teacher, please remember not to <sighs> have them split into boys and girls. And I'm Lisa Kay, your everyday gay.